it's Anne Marie at Goat Cooking and today I'm at my allotment and I thought I'd just show you what I'm going to do with some things I've just literally pulled out of the ground and I've washed under the tap. Now you talk about wonky veg at the supermarket um, carrots and carrots are my strong point. As you can see they're they come in all different shapes and sizes but they all taste really good and all I've done is washed them. So um, there's my carrots I've just pulled out um, a nice sized beetroot there. I've also got some spinach. I've got some beans which are pretty much um, just about past it but they'll be fine. But um, normally after this stage we just leave them on the on the on the plant to um, dry out and then you've got beans for next year. Um, I've got some marjoram, I've got some oregano got some kale and some red kale um, courtesy of my um, allotment neighbour Gerald and I've got a red onion, pink onion and we've got a bit of fruit as well but what I thought I'd show you to do is just make some really simple vegan pancakes because um, I know everybody's trying to eat more vegetables and basically you can make um, these pancakes with whatever vegetables you happen to have um, available. Um, spinach, beetroot, carrots, are the ones that I tend to have the most of so I'm just going to take you through um, making these so bear with me I haven't got an open on today either it's a bit hot <laughs> it seemed a good idea at the time but uh, <laughs> it's luckily I'm under the plum tree and um, I've got a little bit of shade so basically I'm just going to chop up some kale I won't do too much I know if I put too much in, um, it gets too kale if that makes sense. Um, I want the kids to eat it. Um, then I've washed these, so I'm just going to grate, or normally peel these, but, um, but I haven't got my peeler with me. Now this carrot tastes so much better than a shop bought one carrot. It's almost, I wouldn't say spicy, but it's got more of a kick to it. And it just tastes like the carrots I remember having as a kid. Um, if you ever get the chance to get any dirty carrots, they have so much more flavour than just ones that have been washed in a commercial out, outlet somewhere, or they've been stored for months underground. So that's my carrot. I'm going to put some carrot in my bowl. Let's go for it. We're going to make, if we put this in there, everything's going to go red. But look at that. Lovely. Really nice. I'm going to put this straight in here. Otherwise, I'm just going to get everything red. Beetroot, you can eat raw as well as cooked. So it's great in a coleslaw. Look at that, look, 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 look. I've got some um, yellow beetroot somewhere. So you never know until you get it out of the ground. I've got some beetroot. And I'm just going to put an onion in there. You could put spring onion in if you wanted. Which one should we go? Should we go red or pink? Let's go. So, look at that. Now, these are much stronger than shop bought onions. So I'll definitely show you my trick of. Um, how to chop an onion properly basically try and keep the root intact um, so I'm going to chop in half sort of through the root and through the um, through the head so we've gone parallel with the lines so I'm just going to chop the whiskey bit off and then I'm just going to take that top layer off now homegrown onions are so much stronger than shop bought because they've, they've taken their time to grow so they're full of flavour so if you're thinking about growing vegetables you've got the bug of a lockdown um, get some onion sets and just find a patch in the garden and put them in um, I, also, I always think of the gardening year starts like September October and you get the ground ready and you can put in some garlic some onion sets some broad beans like October half term and um, 
when you come back in March after the winter you've got things poking out of the ground already it just kind of gives you a bit of um, motivation to kind of get all the plot back to, sort of to scratch ready for planting in the um, in the March April time I mean lockdown couldn't have happened at a better time to be honest um, my plots not looked this good but you might say bad if you could actually see it <laughs> I don't know if Vanessa will uh, <laughs> just pan it round but there's um it's um it's been quite a bit of rain the last few weeks so it's um it's gone a bit wild you've got to keep on top of it if you are thinking about getting allotment I know there's waiting lists now for allotments but it does take um a bit of time and effort um to keep on top of it I, I kind of like let things go wild and things kind of replant themselves um, just because I'm, I don't know, I wouldn't say lazy, just busy, you know, busy. So there we go, there's all our veggies, we've got, you can put as many or as little veggies as you like, but it's all about adding flavour. I quite like these quite spicy, but I've, I'm just trying to use stuff that's at the allotment today. So I'm going to stick in... Got my little, got a little bit. I thought I did bring a little bit of salt. I can get into it. No good getting into this. Come on. Can't get into this, can I? Oh. Which way is it? I might just ignore it. Can't even get into it. <laughs> oh, let's leave the salt, shall we? Right. Okay. So I'm going to put in some gram flour. Let's look at that. Probably about half a cup. I reckon this is going to bind it. And gram flour, because it's um, made from chickpeas, it's plant based, so we don't need to, you know, worry about gluten. And also, it goes really creamy. So we don't need to add any egg. So it's really really useful it's also got protein in there as well so these make you feel quite full need a little bit more water in there it's not very pancakey so that's all mixed in we're going to put in some marjoram which is really nice if you want to start growing anything my my suggestion is always use start with like fresh herbs that um, are perennials which means they come back or hardy ones like rosemary and sage and then you've always got um, some nice herbs um, to pick outside your back garden it just saves you having to go and buy them right let's strip that one so I've got some oregano some marjoram we'll put a few flowers in the bees have loved the oregano and marjoram and there's one thing I should say is if you're going to do anything about your diet just get some herbs or spices in there because there's so many micronutrients that are beneficial to your brain and well-being and everything um, and boost your immune system it's, it's just a really simple easy way of adding things to your diet I'm not really a believer of taking things away all at once you're just best off just increasing the best stuff um, and then you kind of naturally kind of find you've got so much good stuff you won't want the bad stuff oh. <laughs> oh this was such a good idea at the time there we go right so there's my um pancake mix so let's get this switched on let's just that yeah I've got squirrels and rabbits move that there right let's get this going that sounded positive some nice oil just a bit more in there Yeah. 
obviously if I was at home I'd be washing my hands, I would have my hair tied back, <laughs> I'd have my apron on. But we're down the allotment and you know it's only going to be me and my friend um, eating these so <laughs> not going to worry too much. Right now I haven't brought, can you see that it's nice there, it's all going a bit pink. So you can make these as big or small as you like. Now we're on a bit of a tilt here. So this could be interesting. So these can be quite firm. So you can make these as pancakey or as veggie as you like. These are, these are got these are loaded with veg, aren't they? I've not used that much gram flour. So what else have I been growing? Cucumber. They're really easy to grow. Um, same with courgettes. If anybody's had a go at anything this year, um, courgettes, cucumber, squashes, they're really easy. I don't know, they're just really easy to grow. You just um, just keep watering them. So I, you know, I'd recommend doing that if you want to do something for the allotment next year. And it, they cover lots of ground, so you don't they cover all the weeds. So um, you don't have to weed too much. And what else have I got going? Oh, like I said, get your garlic if you want to do something for the next year. Um, garlic, um, broad beans, and um, onion sets if you want to do any, if you want to get anything ready for next year in the autumn. Um, carrots, like I say, carrots, make sure you've got really fine soil, not much um, stones. I don't seem to have a lot of um, success with carrots at my plot. Um, I don't have enough time to kind of till the soil and make it really fine. I think that's my problem. But um, peas, I don't have much success with peas either. I plot, plot envy from <laughs> see all these lovely rows of peas and, and, and I've got like this pathetic little five or six and the pigeons always seem to like mine compared to um, um, everybody else's. Right, where's my thing? So you just got to leave these to kind of set, a bit like any pancake. If you turn them too early, they'll just make a complete mess. Oh, who's come in? Somebody should smell food. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? We're alright, we're making we're making um, some veggie pancakes. Oh, uh, You've just turned up at the right time. Uh, Great I, timing. I like pancakes. Well you can have one in about all oh, five minutes. Um I think we're alright. Yeah. I've managed, to, I've managed to get some kale, I've got some spinach, we're doing we're doing alright, yeah. Okay, might take some home. Okay, and this is why I love the allotment. Um, it's just it's just great fun. You've got your your neighbours, you look after each other, and um, one person won't be having a good year for potatoes or something like that. Or like for me, my all my beans died in that frost. I believe it was a frost in the end of May, and um, I lost my beans. And um, so Gerald's let me have some beans. Um, I can help myself to as many courgettes as, as going because it's been a really good year for courgettes and people have um, grown lots of them. Oh, these are looking good. Um, yeah. It's hard work being at the allotment and you've got to put the work in. You need at least two or three hours to, ma to maintain it on a regular basis. And if you get a, a plot that's covered in weeds, um, I suggest getting some plastic and then just rolling it back and just doing a little bit at a time because if you try and do it all at once um, it's overwhelming and you, you get all the weeds down and then you come back a week later and all the weeds are back again. So just just do enough 
you know, that's manageable. Um, it takes a couple of years to kind of get you get into your rhythm of what, what works for you. Because everybody seems to be good at um, other things. I think I'm good at wild gardening because I'm in between two beautiful plots that I've got. You know, they've been doing it for 40, 50 years or something. And, um, you know, just don't, just don't get your expectations up too high the first couple of years and just do what you can. Um, and it's, there's nothing better than actually making food. herbs outside in your garden or in a pot on a windowsill then just do that that's that's the, that's that's the best thing you can do and then maybe you can do some spring onions a few tomato plants um, and just things that grow quickly like lettuce um, if you for, when you're at home things like courgettes and that take a lot of a lot of water so unless you've got um, a really good patch of soil in the bottom of your garden um, big plants are not going to do very well so just stick to things that grow quick um, don't take much water in or looking after right <laughs> I forgot to bring um, the tomatoes with us so I'll be serving these up on um, little lids just at the right time we might have a guest or two in a minute so there's our um, pancakes. I hope you find that useful. Please get in touch if um, you want any more advice. Um, I've got a couple of Facebook groups that um, um, help you with growing vegetables as well as food. And um, yeah, if you fancy cooking along with me, I'm still doing online um, cooking lessons as well as private lessons in my garden. I don't think I could probably get you down the allotment, but <laughs> I can get you cooking out in the garden. So. Um, Hope you enjoyed that and see you soon.